Guys, welcome back to the channel, Lower Michigan Adventures. And today, what we have is a little upgrade for my camping adventures. And what I got is actually, I bought this, uh, I believe it's called Ton Ton. And what it is, is it's a extension, eight millimeter extension cable for your solar panel. And uh, it actually, uh, supports solar panels 10 watts to 300 watts oh by the way did i say that this is a official jimmy boy product review i bought this with my own money and i decided today that hey maybe i might want to share this i actually looked on the internet and i didn't find a whole lot of information about this here uh 20 foot what it is is a 20 foot extension cable for your solar panel so it's actually got wide applications. It's compatible with so many solar generators. On BN, it's uh, actually compatible with the uh, GZ Yeti. It's compatible with most Blue Eddies, Ancora 521, most of your Jackery units, except for the Jackery 300. It's actually heavy duty 14 AW. G copper orange wire so this is a, so you don't have nearly the loss you would if you had a lower rating wire uh, not that it probably matters too much but it actually is compatible with the Jackery 240 so I can easily plug this in and I'm going to do that right now and I think that this could be a game changer seeing since I do a lot of uh, camping, primitive camping, and what I've found out in the past with primitive camping is because this actually has a short cable, not very long. Sometimes uh, trees can be a problem, sometimes even the tent can be a problem, but by adding an additional 20 foot, I can actually take this solar panel and move it way out or move it out into the sun. I've got so much uh, extra cable. Now I think this is the cable that comes with it is maybe six, eight foot, and now we got 20 foot, so it's a game changer. Now, what we have here is we just plug it in right here, and it's uh, overcast a day. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I, oh, I just blocked the sun altogether. We had a little bit of, we had a little bit of light and it's completely charged, so it's not taken in. Er earlier, it was taken in about 5 watts, so makes for a little rough showing you. Yeah, it's not taking in anything because it's sitting at 100%, but it plugs right in. And what we have here is this plug-in right here, this plug-in right here, is the DC7909. I believe this is the female side. And then we have the male 77909 plug-in right here that actually plugs right into my 240 Jackery. And then we also have the male uh, 8020, which actually plugs into a lot of the bigger uh, jackeries and uh, makes this cable very diversified to plug into all kinds of different uh, solar power stations. Also, this cable can actually be for input and output. So, yeah, so many uses. So, I actually wanted to show you guys uh, the sun is actually trying to peek out. I wanted to drain this here jackery down just a little bit and uh, actually plug this cable in and show you it pulling in some watts. So what I have here is my little shop light. I'll show you where we're at. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. We're down to 98%. I've had this on for a few minutes now. It's pulling about 50 watts. And I think I can probably move that solar panel. I figured this was kind of an important part of the test is to show you that we're bringing in power from the uh, solar panel and this was actually completely charged so it wasn't going to take any power earlier this morning it was actually taking about 
uh, four to five watts until it got charged at 100%. And then it started out at like 98, so it didn't take very long. So, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here. Uh, I see there's I see there's some sun back this way, so I think we're gonna move this panel into the sun. Now this is the amount of cable that actually actually comes with the Seg uh, 100, and I'm gonna slide this back over here. I think we're gonna put it over here. I got a little bit of sun, so this is the nice part about having this extension we got here is we can find the sun or get it closer to the sun. And so, and it's got these nice little handy dandy little doomajiggies to keep it all wound up. And they're actually fastened, so I kind of like that. See that? Like this. So you're not going to lose them. Look at that cable. This is a game changer, guys. So take this side right here this side right here and we'll plug it in here just like that then I'll take this the sun's getting blocked by them trees a little bit and I could plug it in right here and I don't know if you can see that but we're pulling in right here 23 and that light right there that's flickering all around I need to get this turned just about right. This is an official Jimmy boy. Of course, I need a noun wrench to tighten this down. When all else fails, let Jimmy boy do your review for you. And he won't even bother turning his phone off, so you may ha hear some beeps and everything else as people are commenting on some of my other videos probably. There we go, constantly. 21 watts. 22 49 going up by the shop light I thought it was important to show you the Sun is actually let me let me show you right here the Sun the Sun is actually blocked by them trees so we're getting overcast and this is where we're at the nice thing is I've got so much more room I can move this if need be I got Lou out here she's helping me Okay, I want to show you something. The clouds have pretty much covered the sun. Uh, it's very overcasted, and I knew I had very limited time to get any uh, clips of the sun because we've been not getting sun here in Michigan, and next week it looks like all clouds. So uh, that's why when you get a chance to do these things, you should try to do them. So let me show you over here where the sun should be, but it's covered by... Uh, clouds the Sun should be right there but it's not it's covered it's there but it's behind a bunch of clouds and what I want to show you real quick is let me unplug the light so that's not in your eyes So we got the light unplugged and we're still pulling in 8 watts in clouds. So that's not bad. We're pulling in something. We could charge this throughout the day. It might take forever, but we're charging. Let me see if I can actually move this out a little farther. See if I can get any better reading. And that will actually because I want to show you how far this will go. Like, literally, we'll go way out here. And I'm still wound up a little bit. I'm trying to get past these trees, but it still looks like they're blocked where I could go clear up in here. I don't know if I improved it or made it worse. Let's see, it's pretty much overcasted terribly bad. I may have made it worse. Nope, we're still pulling in just about eight watts. I would say for the money that this would be a good investment, especially, you know, 
if you're camping out somewhere in the woods in the forest where you need to pull it out into an open area and still be hooked up inside your tent that's the reason why i bought this i bought it with my own money and i think it was a good purchase and like i said this is actually very diversified uh, cable it will actually plug into a lot of the different power stations so particularly most of the jackeries it's got uh fits most of the jackeries and actually i'm pretty happy with this little 240 it's been doing me well i've had it for since 2020 i think and uh it always runs my back light for filming and stuff especially when i'm doing like car camping and so sometimes when i'm outdoors camping somewhere and it's getting dark and i need a little light it seems to work pretty good for that where did my baby go all right guys thanks for watching drop in the comments what you think did you buy one of these and if you did i'd like to hear from you and like i said i think it could be a game changer love peace and chicken grease cut <laughs>